hit that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it to check out our latest videos before anyone else. Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the gaming review and the heat test of Honor 7X. Honor 7X comes with the Kirin 659 processor with Mali T830 MP2 GPU with 4 GB of RAM. These are the Anti-2 and Geekbench scores. Now I'll start the gaming review with Asphalt 8. Before I started playing the game, phone had 64% battery. I have also put a timer on the side so you'll know how long I played. Now let me start the first race. By the way, current room temperature is 28 degrees and it's midnight and I had the fan and AC turned off. This is a track I rarely play, so I switched to a different race. So guys that was the first race I completed and the maximum temperature was 41 degrees on the front and 40 degrees on the back. As you have seen there was a lot of lag, it is still playable but if you want a smoother experience, change the graphic quality from settings. So far I have been playing Asphalt 8 for approximately 5 minutes, at least the game was on. I'll play for some more time and see if the phone gets more hot. For the next race I'll use the bike. This is a quick tutorial I had to finish. Phone lags a lot if you use the bike instead of a car. But visuals are still good. Maybe it's a problem with optimization. So guys, this is the actual race. You can watch the gameplay for a minute. Somehow I did manage to win, but the entire gaming experience was really bad. Room temperature is still 28 degrees and maximum temperature on the front is 41 degrees and on the back it's 40 degrees. So far I played Asphalt 8 for about 10 minutes, phone feels warm, but you can still continue playing games comfortably. Next I'll play Modern Combat 5. Current room temperature is 29 degrees. I'll be playing this game from the beginning as it has a lot of graphic intensive scenes especially with the helicopter and water simulation. There is a lot of lag so far and you will see it more from here.
So guys, I've been playing the game for about 5 minutes. Room temperature is 29 degrees. Maximum temperature on the front is 41 degrees. And on the back, it's 40 degrees. I'll play another level and check the temperature again. So guys, now I'm gonna stop the game. I played Modern Combat for 10 minutes on the whole and the maximum temperature is still 41%. So far I've been playing games for 22 minutes and the current battery percentage is 56%. So the phone used just 8% of battery for approximately 20 minutes of gaming. So that's pretty good. Now I'll play Shadow Fight 3. Just so you know, I am very bad at this game. After the first game, maximum temperature is still 41 degrees. Then I played another two games. Second game I lost once again. Third game I won. But for some reason camera stopped recording. So I had to start recording once again. During this time I checked the temperature and it was 41 degrees on the front. Then I switched to Dungeon Hunter 3. But I didn't download the game. So I kept the screen on and downloaded the game for the next 5 minutes. After 2 more minutes I was able to start playing the game. I played the game for about 5 minutes and the maximum temperature on the front was 39 degrees visuals were good and there is no lag. Next I'll play Dead Trigger 2. After all the setup, I just played the game for 2 minutes on the whole. Maximum temperature is 40 degrees and there is no lag. Now let me just check if the last games are still in memory or not. So far I played 5 games and closed Asphalt 8 manually and the phone was able to keep 4 games in memory. So that's really good. So guys phone was turned on for the last 53 minutes and on the whole I might have played games for 30 minutes. Rest of the time was for game UI and downloading the game. Current battery percentage is 47. So for 53 minutes of gaming, downloading and usage, phone used just 17% of battery. And the maximum temperature so far is 41 degrees. Now to push the phone even further, I'm going to take some pictures continuously for the next 2 minutes as fast as I can and then check the temperature. Currently the maximum temperature is 40 degrees. In 3 to 4 minutes, I took a total of 157 pictures some selfies, some regular pictures and some portrait shots. And now the maximum temperature is 45 degrees. And the phone feels kinda hot but it is still manageable. Now I'll record video for another 3 minutes. Current temperature is 42 degrees. After 3 minutes of video recording, maximum temperature is again 45 degrees. So as you have seen, no matter how much I stressed the phone, phone temperature didn't cross 45 degrees on the front at the earpiece. On the back, maximum temperature was 41 degrees. So for one hour of high usage, that's gaming, taking pictures and recording a small video, phone used just 21% of battery. So guys, that was the gaming review, heat test and my own version of battery drain test for one hour. If you are interested in buying this phone, use the link in the description. It really helps the channel. If you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech and we will try to make it as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more cool videos on tech. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off. Have a nice day.